I've never really done any videos like this before, and I'm not sure who I'm talking to specifically or in general is where I might come across this video, apart from my from the circle of YouTube friends I have. Um, this is in regards to uh, the death of an independent wrestler by the name of Larry Sweeney. I just about 10 minutes ago, discovered that he passed away. It was, uh, it, re it was related to, uh, well, no, it was a suicide, and it was related to depression and, in some regard, drugs. I'm not sure what the details are, but irregardless, it appears to be a suicide. Um, Larry Sweeney, uh, like I said, is an independent pro wrestler with, with the fake wrestling. Um, and in, in wrestling, there's what's known as the, the it factor, and that speaks of your personality. If you have what's called the it factor, then you are kind of naturally able to connect with uh, an audience. It's, it speaks of how well you're able to speak to an audience in so much as no matter what you do in the ring or what you say on the microphone, people will listen because you're that you're compelling. It's like everyone knows someone like this. There is a naturally outgoing personality, and there's there's more to it than that, of course. But in wrestling, that's kind of what you need in order to be a successful wrestler or manager, or whatever you want to be. And Larry Sweeney had had the it factor in spades. He was just... The way he spoke... Um, I, I would just say, look, look up his name on YouTube for one of his promos where he's talking, and you'll see what I mean. It's just... Anything that came out of his mouth was just gold. And he did some wrestling as well. Uh, as well as being a manager. From the first time I ever heard him speak, I knew that this guy, it was obvious that he had the hit factor, of course, but I, I knew that guaranteed someday this guy would be a king in the world of professional wrestling. And had the, uh, and undoubtedly had the potential to be the next Jim Cornette or Bobby Heenan, Bobby the Brain Heenan. And yet, at the age of 29, he was a year older than myself, he decided to commit suicide. Now, why am I making this video? Why am I discussing this when other people, other wrestlers have died over the years that I've probably been a bigger fan of or cared more about? Because it's a suicide? Yes. Um, I do not want to say the typical things about suicide where it's like, oh, suicide is, it's unfortunate and it's, it's, people shouldn't commit suicide because there's, there's always other answers. They should, they should look within themselves and, and, and to other people for help, because there always is help. It, it's suicide is not the answer, and I mean that much to an extent is a given to say. But I've always kind of felt, as a person who has suffered from depression in my own ways, that just saying that to a person who might feel suicidal, just saying that to them to them, sorry, isn't enough, because no one can put themselves in that person's shoes, no one can really know how bad they feel, and, you know, any given person has felt depression at one point or another, and to certain, and to greater or lesser extents than any other person, 
but it's always unique to any given person. And even if the depression only lasts for an hour or a day or whatever, you can get over it and then it'll come back later for some people. But it's, it's how you feel in that moment that no one can dictate to you you should feel better while you're in that depression. Anyways, um, so my message isn't my message here isn't so much suicide is not the answer. If you're suicide, get help. That much is a given in a way. My message is more towards people who might know someone who is in that uh, might be suicidal or depressed um, and it's it's also a given to say to those people if you know someone who's depressed reach out to them give them support uh, give them help so that's not even so much what I want to say because like I said it's kind of a given or an obvious thing to say. Um, my message would be when I look at Larry Sweeney, a person like Larry Sweeney who obviously had all the potential in the world or was already realizing his potential. Um, obviously whatever depression he was suffering overcame any positives he might felt towards himself. Obviously, the balance tipped towards the negative. Um, and yet, a person who is depressed, sometimes people are lucky enough to see their positives in such a way that they're able to tip towards the positive and overcome the negative. They're able to see how much good they really have. So my message ultimately is if you're a person who knows someone suffering from depression to the to the extent that they may be they may be suicidal, I wouldn't even say talk to them about their suicide. Like don't not even necessarily confront them. I would say just do your best to show them to reflect upon them, their positives. Engage upon them, with them, in things that will, without saying so, show them their work. Larry Sweeney probably had a whole bunch of work that he obviously could not see well enough. Even if someone told him. Even if everyone around him told him, you are an amazing wrestling personality, you have nothing but potential, you're going to go nowhere but up in this business, in life. And like I said, obviously he couldn't see that in the long run. And as I said earlier, I'm in no position to step into his shoes. And I didn't know him as a person, so I don't know what his, what his demons were. I don't know why he ultimately show suicide, but I think if suicide is preventable, um, then this would, this would be my message, is to, where if you know someone who's suffering depression, help, help them to see their positives so that they do not drown in their negatives, and ultimately in conclusion, uh, rest in peace, Larry Sweeney. You will be greatly missed.